until I, I think I was the first one across the Pacific after the declaration of war, World War II, in an unarmed merchantman. And uh, we were running like a hare before the wolves. And one day, one day, there was a terrible alarm, and we'd managed to haul some anti tank guns out of the hold and mount them in sandbags. And I don't know what they could have done, but it was very interesting anyway and kept the morale up. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a couple of Lewis guns that I'd put in action. Nobody on board knew how to operate the things. And it was quite, uh, it was quite good. And all of a sudden, there was a tremendous screaming rush up on the boat deck. And uh, everybody was gesticulating at the sky, and a Lewis gun goes off with a low snarl, <laughs> and anti-tank guns start banging. <laughs> so I went up to find out what was happening, and they point up at the sky, and uh, the bridge, meantime, is madly trying to communicate with the boat deck out of communication totally. Nobody would listened to the bridge. And uh, finally I spot this thing. I, thought I couldn't figure out what they were shooting at. They knew they were shooting at an enemy aircraft and they'd seen it circle, and it was circling. The only difficulty was in the tropics, Venus is totally visible in daylight. <laughs> and they were shooting madly at the planet Venus. <laughs> <laughs> and the bridge had already figured out what they were doing and was trying to tell them madly that that was Venus. <laughs> Being seamen, they had their own god.